Speaking of television and production, NBC has halted production on one of its upcoming summer series called The Ultimate Slip and Slide after an outbreak of explosive diarrhea on set. What? Fact. Yep. According to People.com, at least one member of the California-based crew tested positive for Guardia. We talked about it not long ago in this program. That's the parasite that causes explosive diarrhea. <laughs> However, according to other published reports, at least 40 crew members became violently ill oh with all the usual symptoms. The explo- You know, the explosive. Oh, yes. The explosive Some diarrhea. literally collapsing or running for the toilets. Mm-hmm. That was on 2 June. The show was set to premiere on the 8th of August. Um, immediately following the closing ceremonies of the Olympic Games. That's, great. That's a good time slot, too. Is the game... Are the games cursed? Woo, they may be. <laughs> they may be cursed. Poor Tokyo. Yes. And this yeah. was going to happen, and now yeah. they don't have it anymore. Apparently, the NBC has concocted a 65-foot-tall, slippery yellow slide. What better way... And this is the, the NBC's... <laughs> Um, promotional spin. What better way to celebrate the gold medals from the Olympic Games than to give everyday people the opportunity to soar mm. on an extraordinary slip slide? And now they may have neither. They may not have the Olympic Games, possibly, if it goes That's away. That's on Japan, I yeah. suppose, at this point. But what would M- NBC's, how many hours would they be without television production? They'd have to Across up, all their networks? Yeah, they'd have to come hundreds, up with, yes. Hundreds hundreds of they'd hours. They'd have to come up with something to fill all that because yeah. they're expecting the Olympics. And they did that last year. They had to come up with something to fill all that. And that's true. But last year you had a little, you probably figured. You did have enough yeah. news, I guess, to fill in the MSNBCs right. and the CNBCs that would be doing cur- yeah. curling, but the summer stuff. Yes. Now you've got diarrhea slide on top of it. Ooh. Awful. The Olympics will happen, don't you think? I do think I do. so. I, mean, yeah. they, I think they've pretty much. They may look different. They may sound different, but they'll yeah. happen. Mm-hmm. That means our Olympic factoid, we are, is it July or June? It's July. It's 20- July. Yeah, if, the, if the closing ceremony is 8 August. Yes, we are. The date's July 23rd on the envelope. Six weeks away, five weeks away now from uh, my Olympic, my summer Olympic factoid will finally be read. Delayed a year and two years, three years after I first said that I would be reading it. It will finally come to fruition. 23 July of this Nothing year. else on this program, maybe in the history of radio, has had this kind of buildup. That's right. I fair to say. I think it is. And I think... Will the Museum of Broadcasting be listening in? <laughs> well, they should. And you're still confident in this factoid. Less so. <laughs> Why? Because, pan, uh, COVID? Build up. Lots build up. of build up. Build up. I had a year extra build up. <laughs> the extra year. You know, I first was just going to have diarrhea of the mouth. And blah, 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 here's the fact. You know, the Philippines never had a gold medal. <laughs> Factoid. Chaos. I, I was ready to do it. This thing's really got to deliver. I was, it was in the Winter Olympics. I heard a factoid. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do that one. And I got right to the starting line mm-hmm. and thought no Liechtenstein's never been in the summer games <laughs> <laughs> i thought no sir we'll wait for the summer so we put it in an envelope we put a date on it it's right here i wrote it up and then i was ready to read it last year for the summer games and what do you know they got bumped a year mm. so now i'm thinking after all this built three we've all, years we've all aged a hell of a lot mm-hmm. yeah oh yeah <laughs> it was three years and here we are five weeks away from it am i going to be able to deliver this factoid that's a tough one that's tough know. that's a tough factoid mm-hmm. to deliver. but i'll try it i'm I'll glad look. you're here but if we would have lost you to covid would oh. we have still opened this envelope a year later oh god yes <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like let's, the day after the wait, or no? no a pro- well, I mean, Olympic time, but we've been like, let's see what he's blowing. All <laughs> that Give me the letter opener. Yeah. Let's see what the hell he wanted here. Biggie, would you have pieced together my voice and edited me to say it? You know, er, uh, got a clip of me, a word here and a word there, and let me read the factoid, or would that be too much editing? Hot here? air ballooning <laughs> used to be. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> This is a great factoid, Wait, but it's not as good as it. It can never live up to the hype. It's like the finale of some great show. You're never going to get to the Well, hype, it's tough know? to carry it an extra year. Very difficult. So you... Very difficult. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just blah, 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 that day. Yeah. <laughs> I should have just said it. Yeah, we have built this into a thing. Oh, it's a thing now. Yeah, you do have thing. this going for you, and that is the day before we do have another envelope. Oh. 23 things fast food restaurants won't bring back to be... <laughs> To be read on the 22nd of July. Back to back sealed in. Oh my gosh. Well, it didn't work out that way. I mean, never doubt it. Initially. That's right. That's right. Okay. When did the, do you know, Dave, not to to interrupt the flow, when did the fast food 
it's probably, list go into the envelope. Maybe you know? inside it. Uh, it's probably inside. Okay. Yeah, that's what so I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. All I know is that we are bound to open it by the lawyers and the law. Well, I know what happened Six there. months, nine months, a year? Uh, it's more than a year. It's been over a year. Because I had it, and you all said, oh, not another one of these. Put it in an envelope. <laughs> stick it in an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> open it two years from now. And Dave did. That's right. All I remember right. that very well. That's right. All right. We'll uh, have both of those that, for well, you. And then after we read your factoid, we'll see, we'll weigh and see yeah, which, which one better. better. Is better. This is a. Uh, this is gonna be a big July. This is gonna be a big July for us. <laughs> Real big. I hear that. <laughs> Don't go anywhere on vacation. Oh no. Without us. Stay around. Stay <laughs> Maybe around. NBC will cover this. Absolutely. Listen, listen to this hollow sound with you wherever you go. <laughs> Sound card. <laughs> Sound card. That's right. <laughs> uh, speaking of explosive diarrhea, news from other countries. One British family's two-year diarrhea nightmare has come to an end. Imagine diarrhea. For two years. God, dog. Not exactly what we're talking about here. This is a family of four. Two young children has been dealing with a serial vandal who's been depositing explosive diarrhea on their sidewalk mm. several times a week now for two years. Mm. Two years. Finally, the family decided to install security cameras at a cost of roughly 850 American dollars at the end of last year. Now they finally caught this dude pooing Outside their home. They caught him red uh, yeah. handed. <laughs> <laughs> the guy did his awful business in broad daylight. It was 8.30 in the morning, England time, in Sussex. Wiped his butt with a sheet of loo paper, or loo roll, I think as they call it over there, which he discarded at the scene. The, my, the mother, the wife, called it his calling card. Disgusting. That's what it is. Disgusting. <laughs> Here's my favorite part. Uh, a council spokesperson said, uh, we're not certain if this is the actual serial pooer. <laughs> oh, <come on>. Copycat. <laughs> copycat. Could be a copycat or a rando. <laughs> you know the English. Oh, yeah. It's got to be DNA. We well, well, need to clarify whether this individual has medical conditions that would explain his actions. Okay. We'll How about see. that? I mean, well, there may be an out for this guy. <laughs> I hope same not. place every day? No. Come on now. Same sidewalk. I hope poop, not. Poop, poop, poop. Mm. And finally, authorities in Vermont are on the lookout for two thieves who may be time travelers from the past. Police say an adult male and an adult female walked into a Kinney's drugstore last Saturday afternoon and stole a DVD player. 